Hey guys, Solos here. We are going to be going over the week one challenges for Fortnite Season 7. I tried out a game and I ended up picking up all items of a rarity. Uh, so that one's really just simple, um, kind of obvious. I'll just be showing you where the forbidden locations are. Um, then where the uh, crown of RVs and a little bit of a tip to go over like how to get the headshot damage a bit easier and tips for searching chests in the single match. Um, that'll be it. Alright, so for the first one that we're going to want to get for the forbidden locations it's going to be up here, north of Junk Junction. One tip that I do have for that is uh, whenever you're trying to go for something random like the dancations or dance on top of something, uh, if you have a choice of where to go, definitely go to the farther ones like wherever the bus comes in so if the, if the bus comes over here by Lonely Lodge try to hit the ones on the other side of the map towards like Junk Junction and such that way you just have less people because I mean you have to be able to dance and find the sign okay so first sign should be right up here that's a little short It'll just be right over this hill. And then you can hit up the llama too if you want to. Alright, so just go right in front of this sign. Do a dance. There you go. Now we're on to the next one. Alright guys, right here on top of this mountain. Just kind of north of all that cold stuff. Uh, there's another sign. Dance right in front of it. And that's number two. Uh, this one might just be easier to drop into a new game to get. That was a weird noise. Anyway, uh, this may be easier to just drop in to a new game, like I said. Um, it's because it's just kind of up here. I got lucky with some balloons and not seeing anybody. But, uh, usually there's going to be some people right around here. So, uh, it's best to just kind of land there. On to the next one. Alrighty guys, uh, just kind of right here, south of Risky Reels, you're going to find your third. Unless they change Risky Reels to the block. I knew they put the block over it, but I wasn't sure if they were going to change the name. The next one is, I believe, right over here. So you can do it the same way. Get over there in a second. Alright, so our next dance location is right over here. Just east of Risky Reels. Behind this ice cream truck. Go ahead and dance there, and then I will show you where the other three are. Alright, so right here on this really tall mountain. Uh, close to Dusty Divot, north of Salty Springs. And these rocks just land on the top and then drop down to the next one. And I'll show you where the last two are. Alright guys, so we're right over here, kind of uh, to the southeast of Paradise Palms on this mountain. As you can see, there's Paradise Palms, here I am. There's this one chest usually, and there's some rifts. Anyway, there's the sign. Go ahead and dance in front of that one, and I will show you where the last one is. The final one is right here in the uh, southwest corner of the map. Just right where I am, right there. Fortunately, I couldn't make it here without hitting the storm from Risky Reels. Or not Risky, uh, Paradise Palms. That's alright. Okay, so the next thing we'll go over is. Okay, I'll show you where the crown of RVs is. 
Okay, so you just come right up here. And you can dance. Alright, so this is a three stage. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. You have to uh, start a new match to finish the rest. Just easier for me to do that. Alright, so your next challenge, in, or stage, I suppose, is going to be dance on top of a metal turtle. And it's just, just right here, uh, just to the east of Wailing Woods and Lonely Lodge. Kind of north of Lonely Lodge, I suppose. And probably came down too far. That's alright, we can build right onto it. I might have to build up that mountain too. We'll just grab these trees here. I think that would be enough, but I might as well just grab this stone. Let me right on. All right, so get right onto this platform here. Just go ahead and dance. That's stage two done. Okay, so for the last dance on top of something challenge, it's over here. It's easier to just jump off the bus and go straight to it. Alright, and then there you are. So you just land on this mountain right there. Uh, right here in your frosty flights. And it will give you a dance on top of a submarine challenge. Best way to finish the rest of the challenges, for the most part, is going to be in a mode like Team Rumble. Um, that's going on right now. Maybe a different mode will be going on later, like 50v50. Um, one of those two would probably be the best because it's easiest to land further away from the circle and then you can search buildings and get all seven ammo boxes for the stage one of the um, search ammo boxes. Then you have to search three chests. Then you have to search a supply drop. Three chests, that's pretty easy to do in any round. As long as you're not dropping in like the middle of Tilted or something. Because if you don't get lucky with chests, then you might lose out. Uh, headshot damage is actually pretty easy to get in this mode too. Just because if you take a rifle, specifically I think that the best rifle to use would be if you could find a burst rifle. Just because you get those three shots, so if you're aiming at somebody's head, you're more likely to hit them. Uh, with one of the three at least. Like I said, you can search the supply drop. They all appear in the circle. Uh, there's a lot of them in this game mode. So it's actually the best way to get... Same with 50v50 if they end up replacing this with that. Uh, play matches with at least one elimination. Uh, it's probably going to be faster if you did it in um, solo. Just because that way you don't have to worry about if you knocked them down or anything. And in this game mode, it's a little bit longer. Then there's different locations to kill somebody. For instance, in this one, uh, Dusty Divot and Retail Row are in the circles. A lot of times, there's two different name locations in the circle. So if you can go to both, you could get two eliminations. One, and you just have to play two games of this. Uh, you could also do it in solos, obviously, but if you're having some trouble, this one's actually kind of nice just because you continually respawn. Other than that, I bless all the challenges for this week, so I'm going to go ahead and get those done. 
And I suggest you do too. I will be back, I guess, tomorrow. I was a bit late to week one. Tomorrow, we will be doing uh, week two. Till then, um, Solus, go ahead and leave a like if you found this helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see other weeks being done. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.